there's the jade control board inside the electrical panel and that's where I like it because if you put it inside the fresh air hood it's gonna get dirt moisture and it's gonna corrode out and it's gonna fail uh, prematurely so this is where I like to put them there is our indoor sensor mixed air sensor now on these Yorks they had a, a sensor in there already. You just take the wiring and shove it into the sensor here for the jade. Now that is polarity insensitive. It doesn't matter where those wires go. Not a big deal. Now if we continue underneath the fresh air hood, We have the outdoor air enthalpy sensor. So that measures the outdoor air enthalpy and it will tell the controller if it's good to go for economy cooling or not. And again, that is polarity insensitive. Also included in the kit is an actuator that works with the Jade uh, system. So we're gonna remove this board we're gonna take the old actuator out. We're just gonna be left with the one actuator in here. And one thing that we need to do, that I like to do when we uh, work on economizers, is give all of these dampers a good grease. Now they've been greased in the past. You can see that white lithium grease sticking in there. So I think I'm just gonna spray some WD-40 on it for now, loosen it up and get them freed, and take it from there. So that WD is setting in there, and while it settles in, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on what we've done out in this section so far. Now this has to be neatened up a little bit, but we've ran eight conductor out to the actuator and out for the en outdoor enthalpy sensor through that knockout there into the fresh air hood that I showed you earlier, that's where that sensor gets connected. Now, three wires go to the motor for the actuator. We've got 24 volts, we've got common, and our DC input. Okay, I ran eight conductor for a reason. Well, one, I had it in my truck, but I'm glad. So I ran this, and I like to use extra conductors because what can happen is if you have a failed conductor at one point, instead of running all new wiring, you can just use one of the spare conductors that you've left for yourself on either end of the wire. So that's why I like to keep them. Guys, don't cut them off. Coil them up nice and neat so you have them for the, the future. I've been in buildings before where they've ran 10 conductor wire. They've only needed six. I've had a short on one of those used wires. And what I did was, instead of running a whole new wire through three stories or four stories of, of building, you just use the spare conductor that's already there. It works out perfectly. So literally, No more use for that. We're done with it. So what's cool about the Jade here is the connectors, they come right out. See that? Now, we can wire that connector outside of the controller instead of trying to get our fingers into this tight space, which I really enjoy. There's four of them on there, as you can see. So we're all fired up, we're ready to go, everything's installed. I gotta leave the door off of this because I wanna check. I wanna check the dampers to see if they open and close when I play with the controller. So what I've done is I've pulled the belt off. That way when we're playing with it, we don't have airflow flying by us going downstairs making it cold. So that's what I've done for now, is just pulled the belt off and powered the uh, machine up. So we got the control board all powered up on the status screen. One thing I want to make clear to you guys, the unit has a diagram, but so does the jade. 
you have to use both in conjunction. So you wire the new board the same as the old board so the unit wiring diagram stays consistent. The last thing you want to do is change it so the next guy is guessing what you've done when he gets here if it's not the same as the unit wiring diagram, okay? Now I have the cooling jumped out right now, R and Y1, okay? So the status screen, if we check that, Economizer, economizer is available because it's cold enough outside for the economizer to open. Economizing, yes, that means we're calling and it's in economy mode, okay? Now there's a bunch of stuff in here, we don't need to go through all of it right now, but one thing I do wanna show you, it will show you your mixed air temp. That's the sensor inside the blower section. Your outdoor air temp and your humidity, which is really cool. Now if we want to test, oh here's the set points. So the set points, we have our mixed air set for 53 degrees. And this is your enthalpy curve. You gotta, you gotta watch this because depending where you are, your enthalpy curve will be different. You gotta look in the manual for this. I'm in Toronto, right? So my enthalpy curve is set for ES5. So keep an eye on that when you're setting it up. So if we want to test the damper operation, we go to checkout, damper open, hit enter a couple of times, and that will prompt the damper to begin to open. Uh, you can see that damper arm moving and the damper beginning to open. So that's how you test out your motor to make sure it's, it's working properly. That's pretty much it. That's your basic rundown of the Jade Economizer control. I love it. I've installed uh, probably 15 or 20 of them now. And I'll keep installing them. You guys have an awesome day. Happy HVACing.